sweet Jesus. Sorry, guys. Um, right as I was supposed to go live, my whole internet just like shut down, booted down. I had to um like restart everything. So my apologies. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new here. Um, this is a reality TV news and gossip channel. We usually cover anything reality TV news. Um, we cover trendy topics, and today we are going to be talking about Team Mom, former Team Mom, Kel Lowry. Um, Elle got me eating those apple chips now. I can't quit. They are so, I love those apple chips. Love them. Um, anyways, you guys, Kel actually put out a three-part little TikTok series on her TikTok account. Um, she already confirmed that she, you know, was pregnant with the twins, um, but she put out this little three-part story i thought this was my pencil my, it's my lip liner um it comes it ends with a twist a lot of people's like she said it was boys but it's actually a boy and a girl that's why it's three parts so let's go ahead let's talk about it really quickly you guys as most of you guys know kale was in a uh what both would describe as a um abusive relationship with chris lopez who she had two children with kind of back to back and when that happened, a lot of people was like, stop having kids. You're not even in a stable relationship. Because when she had, when she had Isaac, nobody knew who she was. So nobody spoke about the fact that she had Isaac. When she had Lincoln, everybody thought it was kind of okay because everybody loved Javi. They were settled. She was older. He was in the military. Nobody really said anything. It was when she got with Chris and, you know, we watched her pregnant with Chris's first child, the one that they had together, the first one, um, how he was not there for her it seemed right it seemed that he was not there for her um it seemed that he was not serious with her and on one of the episodes of teen mom she was in like puerto rico and she thought she was going into labor and he was not there and she made the comment like he don't want to be on the show because he doesn't want his other girlfriends to see him so automatically people stopped liking him and was like you need to leave him and then she got pregnant again by him so people was like what are you doing why do you have four kids you're not in a stable relationship stop what you're doing in april so she ended that relationship with chris in 2000 in the year 2000 and in uh 2022 she announced that she was in another relationship um so she got into a relationship with a guy named elijah scott who was her neighbor that relationship started in april 2022 by mid 2022 People were speculating that she was pregnant with his first child. She confirmed that she was, in fact, pregnant. Um, this was, when did she confirm? She actually had the baby in November of 2022. So let's see, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So wait, 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 am I, am I doing that right? April, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So that's seven months. So she... Yeah, that seven months that she was with him and then she had his first child. They must have been dead a little bit longer than that or maybe she went into preterm labor. I don't know. But either way, she gets with Elijah allegedly April 2022. November 2022, she has baby number five whom they named Rio. Now, she did not confirm Rio until this year. Um, she discussed it on her podcast in early October. That's where she finally confirmed Rio. And then late October, she confirmed that she was pregnant with the twins. Before she confirmed number five, there was already rumors that she was pregnant with number six and seven, the twins. So she put up this little uh, like three part series on her TikTok. And I took some of the pieces out of it to play for you guys. Um, this is just a cute little clip just of her looks that she just posted to her um, TikTok where he, um, he says something really cute about the twins. So let's go ahead and let's watch. Is your twins terrifying your stomach? <laughs> something like that. I'm having twins. <laughs> what? Now, this is Nat, Natalie. Natalie is um, like her nanny, from my understanding. And uh, Kale had actually went to the doctor's office that morning and found out she was pregnant with twins. And Natalie was at home with Rio, who was only three months old at the time. You can actually see Rio's little feet kicking up uh, by Natalie's hand in a minute. So this is her coming home and telling the nanny, oh, you got two more on the way. <laughs> no, I'm not. I am not shitting you in any way, shape, or form. Wait a minute. Are you 
Are you shitting me? No. Yo, tell me you're lying. I'm not. Everyone say so pretty the twins. Okay, this is her telling her podcast co-star, Lindsay Crisley. Um, so you guys just look at this. Watch this. Look at Lindsay's face. What? What? Are you kidding? No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> hey, I, the female came in. No, I have. So she goes and gets the blood work done to try to figure out if she's having two boys, two girls, one boy, one girl, one girl, one. Never mind. Um, and I was like, Lizzie's secretly judging her so hard. Like, what is wrong with you? Um, so she gets the email back and she calls Elijah, who was watching a football game from my understanding. So she calls him and she's like, hey, I got the email back. Open them right now. <laughs> I just have a lot of concerns. Okay, so this is obviously where the information came out that there were boys. Obviously, also one of Kale's there's somebody in Kale's circle that leaks this information as well. That first leaked that it was two boys, and then a couple of weeks later came back and said, actually, no. The doctor got it wrong. It's one girl, one boy. But at this um, gender reveal, uh, also two boys. I'm very nervous. I'm very anxious. And I just want everything to be okay, but also kind of freaking out. I just am thinking about all the things that could go wrong. And if they go wrong, I want to make sure I have a plan for them. This is life changing for everybody. And I just want everyone to be on the same page. I want everyone to have as much time for questions or therapy or whatever that looks like. That's a big deal, you know? Now, this is the second gender reveal where they find out that there is a girl. I know you really wanted Mom. one. Excited? Mom. You're so excited? Mom. What? Um, yeah. Is this really happening? I think it's going to be a huge adjustment, not just for myself, but for the kids as well. I mean, we're talking seven children. You know, having new siblings, especially when you're 13, nine, you know, Lux will be six when the twins come. That's a big deal. So, you know, I, I put a couple of little pieces in there just. Because a lot of people's like, is this not a big deal to her? Like, is this just kind of whatever to her? Um, I do think she sees it as a big deal. And I don't know what led her to have seven kids. But listen, I've been pregnant seven times. I have six children. So I'm not on the in the public sphere like she is. But if I would have been, I probably would have got a lot of hate. Um, because financially, I wasn't even financially where she is to have that many kids. My kids came because God chose them for me and not necessarily the, the other way around because many of them were surprises and there were instances where, you know, I was supposed to get put on birth control and then I went, but my uterus was swollen. So they couldn't put me on birth control until I had an ultrasound to make sure my uterus was okay. And then in between getting everything done and a pregnant. So they were set on antibiotics one time. So I don't know what the case may be if there were things that happened, you know, where she was on antibiotics and I don't know. I don't know. But what we do know is she has seven kids now. She has a family of nine. If you want to, you know, say her and Elijah together and, you know, the children, there are, they're a family of nine. She has a baby girl. Now, one thing that I did not show, if you go over to Kale's TikTok, and I didn't want to show all the TikToks, this is why I don't judge her like that harsh because I don't know her circumstances. I don't know if there were um, things that we just don't know that led her to be pregnant that many times. Like I said, I've been pregnant seven times. Um, I miscarried once and there were several situations that I wanted to stop after two, like <laughs> two, uh, I was going to be done, you know, but there were things that happened. So, um, yeah, I definitely don't get no nanny. <laughs> I would love a nanny sometimes. Sean is the nanny. Um, okay. So, in this video, this gender reveal right here, 
um, she's talking to the kids before they do the gender reveal. And she asks them, like, what do you think they, you know, what do you think they're going to be? You know, what do you think are going to be girls, boys? And Isaac says, um, I don't remember what they say. I think he says one boy, one girl. I think Lincoln says, I don't remember. Um, but after they do the gender reveal on this one, and it's supposedly both boys, Isaac and Lincoln are both just upset about it. They're just, Isaac's like, I think you need to stop having kids because they're just going to be boys. Just more, more and more boys. That's what it's going to be. And um, Lincoln said, what did he say? I wrote it down. He said, they asked him, how do you feel, Lincoln? And he said, I don't feel good. I have too many brothers. So definitely upset about the fact that they thought they were both boys. However, however, after the last gender reveal and them learning that there was in fact a girl, they actually were super excited about that. So, um, you know, Isaac was like, I think you need to stop. You know, I think that was more, you know, he, that was after him learning that there were two boys. Um, from my understanding, all of the kids wanted a girl. So I think that lightened, I think that eased their aggravation about it when they did find out that there was in fact a girl. Lincoln was so happy that he was in fact crying. He wanted a sister for so long. Isaac wanted a sister. Now the little ones, um, I don't think it matters much to them, but the main ones that they were kind of concerned with, um, you know, the effect that it had on them, I think it was the older ones, you know, like the little ones probably don't even pay attention to it that much. The older ones do. Um, but Kayla did pin like a little, where did I see this? A little like note to Isaac. Let me see where it was. It, does anybody remember where that was? Um, she pinned like this little note to Isaac, um, just, you know, thanking him, you know, uh, because he like helped her in a lot of ways. So I don't know, you know, she makes it. Yeah. If, you know, this is the thing when people's like, it's nobody's business. I'm like, listen, these are celebrity people. You know, they put it out there for the world. So we're going to cover it. I don't want to be too, too judgmental because I don't know what led her to this decision. I don't think Kel wanted seven kids because she has talked like she didn't. So I do think there was some extenuating circumstances that maybe we may not know about. I don't know, you know, um, because she has said before that she didn't want more kids. Um, I don't know why she didn't get her tubes tied. I know she had talked about it when she was pregnant with Rio. When she was pregnant with Rio, she actually said she was going to get her tubes tied. So I don't know. I think she's probably got her tubes tied now, which I've not seen her confirm that anywhere, but I'm going to be willing to bet that she did. Um, I do think the kids are very well loved. I do think they're financially taken care of. It's probably very hard for her to make sure she spends adequate time with them, but I do think that's something that's at the top of her list. Um, and I think if you guys watch Kayla on 16 and Pregnant, you remember her upbringing or what she told us about her upbringing. I think that tells us why she did end up having you know, more than one child, more than two children, you know, more than three children. Um, it's because Kale was the only child and she did not even know her dad until she was 16. She met him on an episode of 16 and Pregnant and her mom was an alcoholic who chose men over her. So Kale never had a family. Growing up, Kale did not have a family. So I think subconsciously, Kale made sure her children would always have a family, even if it was just them. You know what I'm saying? And everybody has a right to their opinion. Nobody is yet. Um, this dad does, I think he still has his house, but I, I think she does live with them. Yeah, she was alone until Isaac, yeah. So, um, uh, he rents out his house, I heard. Yeah, he still has his house, but I don't, yeah, I don't think he lives in it. And, you know, if it wasn't for Sean here with me, you know, my husband is a veteran. Um, so we kind of switched roles for a while because I wanted to pursue my dreams of being a YouTuber. So he, because he is a veteran, he has an income so he can stay home 
and tend to our kids. If not, our kids would have to be in daycare. My husband worked. And I work like they would probably, they would have to be in daycare like half the day or so. Or well, they go to school actually, but you know, outside of school, if they weren't in school, like if they were young, they would have to be in daycare or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's great for parents that can stay home, and uh, you know, but not everybody can. Um, but Kale does have a schedule that can she can work around because she has what Kale does is her businesses. She has her podcast, so she can schedule to record her podcast herself. And she can record her podcast from her house. Like from my understanding, she actually has a studio in her house that she can record from if she can't make it into the office. She, she also has an office um, that she records from as well, but she does have a, an office within her home that she can record from. So, and let me tell you guys, she has three podcasts and they are really well. They are really, they do really well. Like Kel makes a lot of them. From her podcast um yeah seven kids by four guys is it is crazy you know it is that that is wild um but when i look at her upbringing and like the fact that she like who taught her any better nobody taught her any better but she went to college she got a degree uh like a business degree i do believe she has three businesses maybe four because she has her I don't know if her hair care thing is still there. So considering she had no stability growing up, she had nobody to to teach her. Well, granted, she's made some mistakes and, you know, the, the different baby daddies and, you know, uh, but she's still doing better off than Janelle Evans. <laughs> she's still better than Janelle Evans. You know what I'm saying? Um, so who are the last four kids? So. Uh, Joe is Isaac's dad. Javi is Lincoln's dad. Lux and Creed belong to Chris. And then Rio and the twins belong to Elijah Scott. Elijah Scott? Elijah, yeah, Elijah Scott. So that's where we're at. She has finally come out and confirmed. And a lot of people were confused because she did, you know, they're both boys. And she did the this gender reveal where it said there were boys. And then the last one, boy and a girl. Um yeah, and that is true. She did graduate while being a mom. So this girl got pregnant at 16, you know, still managed to graduate while being a mom. And what she did is she took that income that she made from Team Mom. She didn't blow it on drugs. She didn't blow it on men. She didn't blow it on dumb stuff. She put it towards her kids being taken care of, getting them in a decent home and going to college and starting her own businesses. And she gets no help from her family. So while there's a lot that we can look at and be like, dang, girl, that's crazy. You also got to remember where she came from. And the fact, do you guys remember she graduated on the show, like with her kids in the audience, you know? Um, and I mean, some of these team moms like Chelsea, Kale, they set themselves up to where even their kids, when they grow up, they probably have like a trust fund that, that, that's being paid into. You never hear about Kale being you know, owing taxes, you know what I'm saying? Whereas like Leah Messer owes taxes, uh, you know, um, she don't have nothing to fall back on. Well, she just, she just got her real estate license. So that's, congratulations on that. Um, but a lot of these other team moms, they've blown their money or they have nothing to show for it or they have no backup, no backup. They didn't go to college. They did nothing to back up to make sure they would have something in the event that they lose the show. You know, Kale got to the point to where she could, she was able to walk away when she wanted to. A lot of these other moms cannot walk away from the show because they would have no income at all. Um, so I have to applaud her on a lot of different things. Um, you know, four baby daddies, seven kids. That is a lot. That is a lot. And I hope they are well mentally. She even said something about counseling, therapy. So maybe they need that. And, you know, that's possible. That's possible. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go too hard at her because she had nobody. She did all this on her own, you know, well, with the help of friends, but no family, no family there. She didn't have a mom worth of anything. Her mom was an alcoholic. She couldn't rely on her mom. Um, and she still, she still managed to graduate college with a degree in business. She put her money in places where it would matter. So they would be okay financially. So. 
I mean, I got to praise her in some aspects of, you know, of what she's done. So anyways, you guys, she confirms that the twins, one's a boy, one's a girl. Also, allegedly, she has given birth to the, yes, she has given birth to the, to the twins, allegedly. And yes, um, she did say that. She said that Isaac was traumatized from Javi. Um, she did say that. Well, I think she learned that probably now. <laughs> you know, I don't doubt that her kids probably have trauma, but she said this recently. She said that she that Isaac was traumatized from Javi because him and Javi were so close. And I don't know if it's necessarily the kids having more kids. I think that's from because Javi and Isaac were super close. Isaac was. He looked at Javi as a dad. He really loved that man. So when they split up. I think that really that really did something to Isaac. Isaac is a very soft hearted little boy, you know, that was really invested in Javi. So I think that split up really bothered her. You know, I think it bothered him. I think that, but I think that's something she probably realized later on in life, like probably recently, you know. Um, yeah. But anyways, you guys, hmm. she got her girl. It is confirmed that one's a girl, yeah. Um, maybe she'll share a picture soon. If not, I totally understand why she wouldn't. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll if she does, we'll do a video on that as well. You guys leave me your thoughts. It could be worse. <laughs> she could be in Janelle's position. Um, anyways. Um, you guys leave me your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys back here later. Bye guys.